if everything is hukam, why do ardas? This is a question that is going to be answered in a way that most people don't find is the tr conventional way of looking at ardas. Guru Nanak says that why am I going to ask for anything when all of the things that I ask for lead to my suffering? Gurbani says, Bir tuj hor je mangana, sir dukhaan ke dukh. If I ask for anything else, I'm guaranteeing myself suffering upon suffering on my head. I'm asking for suffering. So what does he ask for? De naam santokhya utre man ki puk. Give me the name of contentment. Give me the name that gives me contentment and gets rid of all hungers of the mind. Gets rid of all desires. So this brings in a very interesting point. Why do you ask for stuff when the Guru is actually saying, you asking for stuff is the problem? What is it that you can ask for that the Guru and the Divine doesn't already know about? That's what that line means. What am I going to ask for that you don't already know? So the Guru is giving you very clear instructions here that doing ardas for stuff is not in line with the Guru's way of thinking. Because the Guru says, So the only thing worth asking for is the divine understanding. Don't ask for anything. And you have given me this example of the Guru is saying, well, ask the Guru. Ask the Guru for what? Tell me lines in Gurbani that says, if I want a new car, go and do ardas. If I want a better job, give me do ardas. Look, Gurbani actually says something. Ji jant sab sharan tumare sarb chint tud paase. All beings are in your sanctuary. All problems are yours. Sarv chintud pase. Right? And then Guruji is saying that naam and hukam ik nanak ki ardase. So don't ask for anything else. Now that becomes very hard for us to accept. Because we're thinking, well, I understand that I'm not going to ask for worldly things. But can't I ask for good stuff, like my kid's education? Or can't I ask for somebody who's ill to be better? And the harsh answer is no, you can't. You can't ask for that stuff because Why do you want the ill person to get better? Because you cannot accept the hukam, that's why. By asking for stuff, what you're literally saying is this divine system, there's something wrong in your system. I think you should do this. You're going to make my, my loved one ill? I think that's wrong. I think you should do this instead. I think you should make them better. You are going to tell the divine system what you think in your limited thinking is the right thing to do. Why are you going to do that? Because you haven't understood the original problem because I want that person to get better and it's going to make me feel better. So I want you, divine system, to change your plan so that I can feel better. And the Guru is saying, I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that. You need to get rid of the me. When you get rid of the me, you're not going to ask for anything else. De naam santokhya. Give me Naam. Give me the right way of thinking. Give me the divine way of thinking. So Guruji does not allow us to do Ardas for stuff. And unfortunately, we have an entire religion that makes money of you needing to ask for stuff. You need to ask for stuff? Sure. $100 please. Or Ik so Ik. 101 Yeah? 
and then sure, give us the hundred and one dollars. We'll write your name down and stand and say, oh, Falana needs to have a new extension on their, their, their house. <laughs> Done. That's, a, that's, that's the easiest hundred dollars I ever made. I just need to tell you to do stuff. You know what? Guru Nanak came and spoke out against these people who were doing these things. Guru Nanak said, that's not the way. Guru Nanak says, these people are fooling you. And I'm sorry to say the people in the Gurdwara are fooling you. By saying, oh yeah, you, you want to get a new job? Yeah, sure, write it down on this piece of paper. Give me a hundred dollars. No problem. I'll, I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask God for you. Yeah? Because there's some God over there. Our very institutions are doing the wrong things. And we need to be brave enough to stand up and say, I'm sorry, this is not the Guru's way of thinking. The Guru's way of thinking is written in Gurbani. And Gurbani doesn't tell you to stand up and just ask for a whole bunch of stuff. It says, ask for Naam. Jo tud pahave soi changa Ek nanak ki arda se What does that line mean? Whatever you want to do, I want to be okay with that. Ek nanak ki arda se Nanak only has one ardas. I want to accept whatever it is you do. Right? Jo tud pahave soi changa Whatever you want to do, O oh Divine System, I want to be okay with that. That's my only ardas. Guru Nanak cannot say in one line of Gurbani, Ek Nanak ki ardase, and then it says, Oh yeah, but by the way, I still need that new car. Can I have that as well? You can't do that. You can only have one ardas. Get rid of your me thinking and align with Divine thinking. You see how Naam and Hukam are actually the same thing? Naam is remembering the divine way of thinking, the divine perspective. But we do ardas from the me perspective. And we say, yeah, but I'm not asking for bad stuff. I'm asking for good stuff like my, my kids' exams. No, it's your kids' exams, isn't it? It's my kids' exams. Nobody does ardas for other people's kids. <coughs> right? Nobody does ardas for any, you know, somebody else. We're all doing it for ourselves. So we need to understand what's going on here. We need to understand that the entire institutions around us, around the Sikh religion, have not been set up to get rid of the me thinking. The Guru doesn't want you to do any ardas for these things. But imagine you went to the Gurdwara and said, I'm done. I don't need any more ardases. They've lost their paycheck, haven't they? They've lost their money. Oh, what? You don't need anything? Then how are you going to give us money? The institutions are set up for you to not think in the right way. And I'm not blaming everyone, but we need to only understand this when we understand what the Guru is saying. And you have to understand it from, from your experience of Gurbani. And if any line in Gurbani is saying the word Ardas, it's only asking for one thing, Naam or Hukam, the same thing. There's no Ardas for anything else. I've made a video about Chope Sahib. We have a system that if you want something, Let's do a hundred chope sahibs, a thousand chope sahibs, a million chope sahibs. So that the me thinking can say, I want this to happen or that to happen. But the first line of chope sahib is, Hamri karo haath der achha, pooran hoi chit ki ichha. The only request in the chope sahib is, I want to remember you. That's the only thing you're allowed to ask for. But we forget the meaning of that and we say, let's do a million chope sahibs so that this thing can happen. And we convince ourselves, oh, we're doing it for a good thing. Let's do chope sahibs for Pantik Ekta. Let's do chope sahibs to save this Mahapurush who's ill in hospital. Let's do chope sahibs for this. No, you can't because wind to hold them, je mangana, sir ke duk. Gurbani is not a contradiction. Gurbani is very clear. You just have to understand that every angle that Gurbani talks from is all pointing to the same thing. Delete your sense of me and align with divine thinking.